In the skies over Seoul, Korea, a chopper crew is carrying several tons of national pride. They're attempting to place a massive sculpture atop this bridge, built to commemorate the 1988 Summer Olympics. South Korea's finest moment on the world stage. It's a symbolic flame, one the government hopes will be eternal. The army enlists three of their top pilots to put the flame in place. But because of the excessive weight, anything but ideal conditions can send things spinning out of control. The chopper splits in two, plummeting to the concrete bridge like a Hollywood stunt. Half the craft erupts into flames, the rest sinks to the bottom of the Han River. Fortunately, bridge and river traffic were shut down. No bystanders are injured, but the entire chopper crew is lost. Bruce Berquist, a helicopter expert and instructor, dissects the anatomy of this crash. At this point, everything looks normal. It's got a good steady platform, and he has a nice gentle set down. A little bit of movement here could be from the wind. Everything appears to be normal, but somehow the chopper creates a condition where the rotor blades have no air to push down on, and it sinks. Right now, as he comes down, he appears to be settling with power. He settled in his own downwash and was unable to stop his descent rate. The pilot now has a split second to decide what to do. As a pilot, when catastrophic failures of an engine or tail rotor or anything, you only have a split second to make that emergency decision. He should have cut the cable, dropped the load, and continue to fly forward and fly out of the downwash. But obviously he didn't do that. But why didn't he just drop the load and fly out as he was trained to do? It could have been that he just didn't react in time. But perhaps with the pride of a nation riding on his shoulders, the pilot couldn't bear to lose the Olympic flame just to save himself. The damaged sculpture stands to this day, commemorating the Olympics and the three brave men who gave their lives to honor their country.